Hi Gude, this is Max and what I want to do today is I want to open some, or at actually my last LOB and IOC blister packs. Um, in this first part of the video I'm going to unpack all of them and I will take a look at the promo cards in here because the last video I did with those, um, they had pretty good promo cards for the first time, <laughs> I think, uh, in ever opening those. Uh, the second part will be 15 IOC booster packs and the last part is going to be 15 LOB booster packs. So I'm going to open the blister packs so no one can uh, say, oh, you put some cards that you already possess in the promo slot or whatever people might come up with. Not that it happened on this channel, but I'm sometimes seeing uh, videos of other people where commenters write that or sometimes I do myself think that some pulls look staged oh no dragon shrine that's nothing special so uh, doesn't matter if it fell over there This I'll see LOB promo card. I might actually uh, look at the promo cards right away when I pull them so it's more interesting. Book of Eclipse, Dragon Shrine, Dragon Shrine again. So uh, obliterate, okay, that's an Exodia based card. Um, oh. If one side doesn't work, just open the other side. I might even open the Invasion of Chaos packs in this video. Uh, Trickstar Crimson Heart. I don't think I ever pulled this card out of here. Because just promos would be eh, not too great. At least if they keep being not too great. Magicalized Fusion. That's from Dark Neo Storm, I think. It has an upgraded version in terms of, of uh, rarity. I think at least it had a secret rare in the 2020 megatins. Spiral super agent with a ding. Don't know if that's a good card or not, but spirals shouldn't be too strong at the moment, I think. I think they dominated when uh, Magician Soul came out around that time. Maiden with Eyes of Blue. But then they were hit with the next band list, I think. Not too. Um, I'm not too sure on all those uh, more recent meta games. Oh, yay, a Yugi token. Who doesn't want to pull that? Seems like last time was, yeah, pretty lucky with my promos. Azar Eye Silver Dragon. Ooh. IOC. Oh, that opened pretty easily. Oh, a secret rare. Dark Burning Magic from... Oh, legendary decks, so not even from a booster. Yeah. And last promo card, Maiden with Eyes of Blue again. Yay. So for this video, 
IOC will be opened, LOB will be saved for the last video of my old school legacy double list uh, reprint, whatever you want to call it, opening. Gay Lizard, Ojama Yellow, Balloon Lizard, DD Borderline, Mataza the Zapper, Torpedo Fish, Crimson Ninja, Tower of Babel, and Chaos End. I didn't pull Gatsufuma in the last video, so I might pull two in this one. And of course, what was it? Chain Burst, Giga Gaga Gigo, nice, Boganian, Amphibious, Bugroth, Mark III, where's the rare? Ultra Evolution Pill, yay, Tower of Babel, Fiend's Hand Mirror, Chopman, and Chaos Necromancer. Seems like my videos with these packs are either horrible in terms of pulls, or that one time when I got like everything out of uh, both IOC and LOB. And yay. <laughs> so much enthusiasm for a secret rare Invader of Darkness. I would like to pull a CED again. I pulled quite some of Invader of Darkness. Uh, I started with uh, CED, and I think I pulled one more, somewhere in between, but all other secrets were Invader of Darkness, which is like a 50 cent card. There are even commons in here worth more, for example uh, Manju, or Grand Manju da Isa, self-destruct button, yay, Lord Poison, Oops. Thunder Crash, and Molten Zombie. Stealth Bird, Ryo Coffee, nice. Anti aircraft flower, smashing ground, no foil in here. Mataza the Zapper again. I'm playing this in one of my goat decks. Spatial Collapse, Ojama Delta Hurricane, and there's the first Manju. And the second sleeve of the video. Oh, there we go. Witch Doctor of Chaos, Begone Knave, Chaos Sock, nice, Wild Nature's Release, okay, at least a super rare, that's cool, Chain Disappearance and Sacred Crane are nice as well, or at least not bad. At least it's Wild Nature's Release and not Reload, which I'm pulling or which I did pull quite often. Ooh, stay there. Stay right where you are. Multiplication of ants. A hero emerges. Stumbling. Pin chopper. Chain disappearance again. Crimson ninja. Chaos End, Lord Poison, Terror King Salmon. I don't think I pulled Terror King Salmon in this video yet. Back in the day I liked uh, him and Giga Gaga Gigo. Oh, that's a dinged Burning Algae. And that's... Whoa, can you see that print line? I'm not sure, but... That's a massive one. Ooh, okay. Massive print line on the mighty stealth bird. Sea serpent warrior of darkness. Balloon lizard. Ch <laughs> chain disappearance again. Why? Why am I pulling chain disappearances left, right, and center? Oh, and this card is dinged as well. Eh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Anti-Aircraft Flower, Smashing Ground, Gora Turtle of Illusions, 
Blasting the Ruins. Compulse, again. Crafton's Feather Duster, Granadora, and another Neobug. So 15 packs in total. I opened 12 so far with two foils. Mm, that's a little bit, little bit below ratio, so let's hope I get two foils out of the last three packs. Wouldn't mind pulling three either. Big burn, yay, there we go. That's one, <laughs> and another Mataza the Zapper. Next foil, uh, next, not foil. Uh, what's, uh, sleeve, sleeve is the word, yay. It's been a long week, it's uh, Friday when I'm recording this, so my brain might might be in weekend mode. Grand Marjor Daiza, nice. Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness. Ryokoki, cool. Gigantes. <laughs> Another Compulse. And no Getsufuma and no Chain Burst yet, so... Um, I don't mind that. Getsufuma is pretty useless, in my opinion, and Chain Burst as well. Um, Mataza the Zapper is at least usable in meme decks uh, for GOAT format. And Chain Disappearance, I'm sometimes even playing it in modern decks, depending on what I want to do. Plus, um, Compulse is decent for Goat as well. Ryokoki again. And Anti-Aircraft Plower. Nice. Chris is gonna like this. <laughs> Energy Drain, Skullmark, Ladybug, Earth Chant, and Bomb Turtle. Another mediocre opening, in my opinion. This time even the promo cards were not great, and getting a secret rare out of Invasion of Chaos is usually hyped, if it's not this one. Big Burn and Wild Nature's release, plus a Manju, out of 15 packs, that's, yeah, that's not, not much, you could say. But maybe the 15 LOB packs I'm going to open next uh, will have better pulls, maybe my third Blue Eyes out of those, or something else, and yeah. That's it for today. Um, what can uh, what else can I say? I lost my uh, <laughs> I lost my plan. But uh, tune in for those packs. Stay safe, and as always, see you next time on Random Old School Yu-Gi-Oh. Bye bye.